Hello guys and welcome back to another M Creator tutorial. Today what I'm going to be actually showing you is something a little bit different. It's uh, related around blocks. <laughs> I don't know if I have ever made a tutorial, probably, about uh, other things outside of blocks, but <laughs> I'm sure I've done some things like the car tutorial and a few other things with entities, but still. A lot of the things that I actually focus around is blocks and uh, that's why I have a whole bunch of different light sources in front of me right now and that's what we're going to be covering. So yes these are vanilla light sources but uh, I've actually changed them in a little bit of a way that can make them more unique per mod and if we t change the time right now to uh, night so time set night and this is where it will start you'll start to see the uh, changes you can actually see that there's moths uh, flying around these light sources and that's because I have a small little procedure on the player side for a player tick update so basically what's going on is it's testing for a block within a 16 block radius so 16 blocks that way 16 blocks that way 16 blocks that way and 16 blocks that way from the block that we're currently standing on so that's basically what we're doing and then we're testing for a block in a tag now you could do this a number of ways you could do a specific type of block as well but i thought because i'm doing so many light sources it would probably be best for a tag uh, element and then all I'm doing is basically running a event from that particular uh, block so once we figure out where the block location is we can easily tell it to do something at that location from relative to the player so let's quickly just uh, pick up one of these items and we'll go over here and we'll place it down just to show you that they do indeed spawn from the light sources so that's basically what's going on let's hop into mcritter and i will show you the script as well as break down some of the uh keynotes that you might want to actually do for your p particles and stuff like that So there is one procedure, one tag, and there is one particle that we're using for custom particles. You can use any particle you want uh, as long as you actually have a tag for it. But uh, what we're going to be starting with is the tag just to see what um, we're doing here. So what I've basically done is I've set up the tag on the mod side and this is basically the namespace of the mod. And then what I've done for the registry is I've basically set it under surface, which is the world that I'm basically generating it under. And then the, um, basically the tag name. So, um, night underscore bugs. So night bugs for the surface, right? So this can be anything that you want. I've basically just organized it. So, the tag will be easier to call when I'm actually using the procedures. Now, um, you can use slashes to divide it, and um, you can also use underscores as well, but uh, any other characters might run into issues. Uh, the another, another thing that I'm doing is I'm running it on the blocks uh, tag, tag type, which will allow us to test for different types of light sources in vanilla Minecraft and then I've basically just specified them in the drop down list here. So now one thing to note is it is under the mod namespace so I'll show you how to set that up for your mod itself. So if we go into the particles next I will cover just a quick thing on what I've done. I've actually imported the particle as a or created a particle texture animated texture so I've gone and created animated texture I've imported the animation strip I've set it to 5 which it probably won't really matter too much with particles it's mostly mainly for blocks and stuff 
but I've set it to five anyways, and then I've saved it. And that's where I got the particle um, texture. Now this is only a eight by eight texture. I didn't need something really big, so that'll be fine. And basically what we're doing here is we're using that particle texture that I've created. It should be under the other textures namespace as well. And then I've basically, because it is animated, I've set the animation of, for this particle to enabled. I've set the animation animation speed again to five, just to be on the safe side. And then I've set the transparency and other per, um, other settings to my liking. Now, uh, if you have, if you want them to kind of fade in and fade out, or like you know, like fade out um, randomly, then you can change the settings to basically two seconds and one second. So it'll basically um, despawn the particle anywhere from two seconds to one second and that's basically what I've done there. Uh, the other things that I've note uh, for note I have basically reduced the visual particle visual scale and that made it a little bit more uh, nicer it's a little bit smaller than normal as well so that looks a little bit better. Outside of that all the other settings are pretty much the same you can play around with them it won't matter too much on how you set up your particles uh, as long as you have a particle to use for this particular experiment. Now this script actually can be used for any type of procedure you want. I've basically just set it up for the particles itself but uh, obviously you can test for a block within a 16 by 16 block radius anywhere from the player and it will work with any type of condition that you want so or event that you want so what I've basically done here is I have set up a system for a variable it's a local variable it's on random chance and then I've, I've set this random variable to random I, this needs to be under a the client side so what I've done is I have set it to not is provided world remote client side and this will run it on server side only so after that I've basically tested for the random chance to be equal to or greater than 0 0.95 so this is only a 0 0.5 or pardon me 0 0.05 percent chance of a moth spawning because it's on a player update tick that r runs uh, 20 ticks per second so this is about um, a, a one odd chance of it actually spawning which is if you were to do the math, it's about um, one chance per 20 ticks. So it's like one out of 20 um, chance that it will basically generate. So after what I'm doing next is basically just testing for a additional condition. So this can be the conditions that you want for basically preventing your, uh, or basically allowing your um, particles to spawn uh, in say a particular world, a particular biome, if it's near a certain block, something like that. And this will basically be where you set your conditions for. So in our case I've basically set if the world is not D in the provided world of the player, this is run on uh, client side. And then what I'm also doing is I'm testing if the ID of the dimension of the provided entity is which would be the player is in and then the surface biome so that's where the tag comes in where I called it surface because I'm testing it on the surface side of things and then this system right here basically kicks in I'll do my best to explain this and this has to do mostly with uh, testing for the block in the radius so the first thing I'll break it up into two parts so um, we actually it is really in just two parts there's technically three but um, I'll cover it in two so there is the first part right here which basically tests for or pardon me sets the variable default location of the variables and now this is important to set up in the way that you want it now if you want to set it off uh, set the offset the location by 16 blocks then you want to set these to the coordinates minus and then the amount that you want to offset it by. Now when you 
basically want to center something, what you want to do is basically times that by two, so this would be 32, and then you want to add one to that value, and that equals 33. So basically what we're doing here is with the repeaters, we're running this 33 times each, and what this will do is this one is for the Y position, this is for the Z position, and this one is for the X position. So what we're doing is we're actually setting, running this a total of uh, 33 times, which will do a full radius in 16 by 16 by 16 for every uh, direction of the player. So positive north, uh, south, east, and west uh, will all have uh, 16 blocks radius where this procedure will be testing from. After which, uh, we run our basic condition where we basically test for the blocks and you can basically run anything in here if you wanted it just to spawn particles. You could remove this completely and just spawn the particles and that would work fine too. Um, the only thing with that is it might lag quite a bit because the player will, um, it, it's not targeting a very specific block. So you would probably want to somehow lower the chances, either it be through procedure or something like that. So it's not going to constantly um, run the procedure for every every tick. Uh, as it says down here uh, on player tick update, uh, global trigger is a tick event based. Uh, can keep keep in mind that running too complex of uh, demanding procedures each tick can severely impact the performance. So basically what that means is um, because it is a tick up update it can basically impact the performance if it's if it's really complicated or if you have script that is very heavy on certain things. So particles obviously can get really heavy because it has a lot of um, things that it has to render. Particles have always in Minecraft been a little bit heavy on performance wise. So obviously you don't want to add particles for the whole area of where the player is. That would be a really bad thing to do. So what you would want to do is kind of specify a block or you know something around those lines. You can do it. I'm not saying don't do it. I'm just saying that just be careful what um, how much particles you spawn. You might even want to just reduce it to one rather than five particles and that should be fine. Uh, all right, so what we're doing in here is we're basically just testing for the namespace of the tag. So this is our namespace of the mod. And then I'm, we have a colon right here. And then what we're doing is we're testing for that registry name for the tag itself. So in our case, it is surface slash and then night bugs and then we're testing for all those block or blocks in that tag name and then what we're doing is we're just making sure that any coordinate based things that we have um, anything with x y and z has the coordinates for the variables that is set to x y and z and this will basically test for that particular location every time it runs through so that's basically what we're doing here you can offset the um, radius of how far the the actual particles spawn from the center uh, with these particular uh, values here and the speed you can set as well. All right, so after you've done that, uh, what is basically happening is every time this procedure is run, everything in these contents basically get repeated 33 times and then what going on here is we're basically increasing the position we're getting the position of the current position of X and then we're increasing that by one so this will increase anywhere from the relative coordinate uh, negative 16 so negative 16 of the regular coordinate and then it's going to increase that on to, uh, 33 times and then it will basically uh, stop the procedure or not the procedure, the repeater, and then it will go on to this repeater, and then this will repeat obviously 33 times. But what it's doing here is we're basically resetting the X coordinate to the default coordinate as seen up here, and we're increasing the Z coordinate by one. And then again, once these two have reached their full capacity of repeating, 
the y coordinate will basically run and that will be 33 times as well. And again, we're resetting the x and z coordinate, very similar to what we did with the x coordinate up here. And then what we're doing is increasing y by one. And what this basically does is it will try to find the block anywhere within that particular uh, radius and spawn a particular uh, or start a event that happens in that area. So in our case, we're basically just spawning the particles, but that's basically all there is to it. So outside of that, uh, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.